I died a few years ago from a severe stroke caused by an underlying disease. The last thing I remembered was holding my heart because I couldn't breathe. I fell on the floor and saw myself rise away from my body. There was a demarcation by a transparent see-through glass between me and my other body lying on the floor of the house, I could see the other side but no longer had access to go there. The next thing that happened was that I saw myself going into a dark tunnel of darkness at full speed, I couldn't control, I was conscious of myself in all of this as I gazed around the entire scenario. As I passed through the tunnel, a light appeared at the end of it, it was far brighter than any light I had ever seen in my life, and as I began to look more into it, the light became more lighter and there was someone waiting for me, whose eyes was also so bright, I couldn't see the whole face because of the light because it was so bright. I was then pulled out of the end of the tunnel, and immediately was transformed into a new body that is full of life and energy, it was stronger and better than the body I have on earth that has been ripped into pieces by disease. There is no sickness, pain, or weakness, all I feel inside this new body is beyond description, it was divine and heavenly. I was then welcomed into the light, it is actually a place, and there were millions of people living joyously. This place was full of peace and free from fear of anything. The inside is a very beautiful place, it's something beyond this earth, there is no home on earth as beautiful as this new place, it's simply glorious. There is no sickness, pain, or weakness, all I feel in this new body is beyond words, and it was divine and heavenly. I was then welcomed into the light, which is a place of peace and freedom and free from all the burdens we carry in this life. The inside is a very beautiful place, and something beyond this earth. There is no home on earth that is as beautiful as this new place, it's simply glorious. This place is so peaceful, full of love, the love I experience there is unconditional. I love this place, and really don't ever want to return to the earth. My father and other family members weeping back on earth was shown to me through a screen, but out of them all, my father was the one weeping so bitterly. I was told I have to go back because he will die of anguish without me on earth, but I was given the choice to make the decision if I want to go back or remain. I looked at my father again, and decided to go back for his sake, although I was not happy to leave this glorious place to a body full of disease pain and suffering. Because I was really suffering here on earth due to my long-term disease that I have carried in my body for years. Simply glorious. The next thing is that happened is that I saw myself taken to the edge of a gate. I started going back to the earth through the cloud with a speed I could not control because it was so fast, it was through this full speed that I landed into my body inside the hospital bed, where I was plugged up with many full of devices because apparently I was in a coma. My heart and everything in my body was shivering and the monitor was beeping fast, my dad and nurses all ran to my side calling my name. I am now aware that I'm back on earth full of pain, I heard the voices of nurses at the background shouting, she's awake, and my dad calling me, sweetie. I tried to open my eyes but could, so I gave him a gentle wave, to let him know I'm fine. My heart and everything in my body was shivering and the monitor was beeping fast, my dad and nurses all ran to my side calling my name. I am now aware that I'm back on earth full of pain, I heard the voices of nurses at the background shouting, she's awake, and my dad calling me, sweetie. I tried to open my eyes but could, so I gave him a gentle wave, to let him know I'm fine. I continued to see this light all through my experience in that hospital, while lying on the bed as I kept drifting in and out of my body. But the same light I saw after the tunnel remained with me in that hospital, until now. I want you to know that whenever you're going through anything in life that Jesus is always there with you, the fact that you cannot see him does not mean he is not there. The light I'm talking about here is incomparable and unconditional light full of love who is without limitation or condemnation. This light is glorious, he is as our future, now or forever, he is the Almighty who is in heaven, on earth and eternal, 
that light is Jesus Christ. After few days in the hospital, I was well in the whole of my body, and off my feet, I was eating, greeting people and taking his walk around the hospital. It was a miracle that even the doctors could not explain my speedy recovery. My father was so cautious in asking me to rest so I don't collapse again, but the doctor said she has no more sickness in her body according to the test result we have, she is free to go. I became free of all sickness and disease till today, Jesus said, who the Son of God sets free is free indeed. I'm glad to let you know that Jesus healed me and set me free, and he can so do the same for you, if you receive him as your Savior and believe in him. Few days later at home, my father asked me if I saw anything while I was in coma, because he was confused of how I came home to start cooking and doing things I would not normally do. He is used to a daughter lying helplessly on the bed, and couch who has to carries around, my dramatic healing and strength is way beyond his understanding. I sat with him and told my father everything I saw, he was weeping and thanking God for bringing me back to him. From that day I gave the whole of my life totally to Jesus. Thirty years has passed and I'm still alive till today, no sickness, pain or fear of death. I conquered every fear of death the day I came back to my body on earth, after that glorious experience. It was an experience that didn't just transform me but everyone around me, and even people who never believe in Jesus all gave their heart to him because of this testimony. As you listen to this message, what will be waiting for you at the end of the tunnel? Will be light or a journey to darkness, because after life on earth, we are all starting a new journey, is yours be going to be eternal life or eternal death? You have been given that power by God to make this choice today. If you have not received Jesus into your heart, please I implore you to accept him as your Lord and Savior today. As you listen to this message, what will be waiting for you at the end of the tunnel? Will be light or a journey to darkness, because after life on earth, we are all starting a new journey, is yours be going to be eternal life or eternal death? You have been given that power by God to make this choice today. If you have not received Jesus into your heart, please I implore you to accept him as your Lord and Savior today. He is real, and alive and when all is over here on earth for you. There is a light waiting at the end of the dark tunnel, to transform you into incorruptible eternal body, and lead you to a place of peace and unconditional love, where there's no more death, pain or sorrow. God bless you. This is a testimony to let you know that Jesus is not fake as many claim, he is real, alive and he is the light that shines and darkness cannot comprehend it according to John. One of the reasons Jesus said I am the way, the truth and life. He is the only light and truth for you to access heaven, without him and his truth living in you no man can enter this light at the end of the dark tunnel of this earth. Years after my experience, my father passed away, I knew he has also gone through that light to the same glorious place full of love, peace, and without pain. He is now clothed with a glorious body because he was a man who gave the whole of his life, and time to serving the Lord while he here on earth. 